Magandang araw mga kapamilya. Magandang araw mga kapuso. Narito na naman tayo sa pinakabagong episode na ating kapupulutan ng aral. Ako nga po pala si Carl Matthew Mangguiat. At ako nga pala si Apple Javier. And, And this, this is The 60 Minute Helpline. So partner, ano nga pala ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon? Partner, ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay yung mga different podcast examination. Tulad na lang ng photography at saka ng barrio po. So what is urography? Urography, it is the radiographic examination of the urinary system. So we have three contrast media that we are going to use in examination of the urography. So we have three contrast media that we are going to use in the urography examination. First one is the ionic organic iodine. The second one it is the non-ionic organic iodine. And the last one is the low osmolality organic iodine. Before we start our examination in neurography, always make sure to check before the creatine level and the creatine level of the patient. The normal creatine levels for the adult are 0.6 to 1.5 mg per dl. The BUN levels or the blood urea nitrogen levels should range between 8 and 25 mg per 100 ml. These are the contraindications and indications of urography examination. Contraindications for urography are hypersensitivity to iodinated contrast media, anuria or absence of urine excretion, multiple myeloma, diabetes especially the diabetes mellitus, severe hepatic or renal diseases, congestive heart failure, peyochromocytoma, sickle cell anemia, patient taking metformin drugs, and renal failure acute or chronic. Here are the preparation for urography. Light evening meal before meal, bowel cleansing laxatives, 8 hours of NPO after midnight, and enema on the morning of the examination. The indications of urography are trauma and obstructed part of urinary system. Before we proceed to our examination, let us first identify the materials that we are going to use. First is we need a 14 by 17 cassette size. We also need a marker, a monogram shield for patient protection, patient gown, and also a pillow for patient comfortability. So now, we will proceed to our examination. So the marker is placed on the lower right side of the cassette. So it is placed on the lower right side of the cassette because the patient has a fine position. So now we will place it on a bucket tray. And the orientation of the cassette is 14 by 17 length one. After that, we will now call the patient. The first examination is the scalp field. So the patient is in a defined position. The MSP is centered at the mid line of the table. The reference point will be the iliac crest, and then the central array will be perpendicular to the iliac crest. Then the structure shown will be the urinary scalpula. For our second projection, it is the nephrogram or the nephrosomogram. So the patient position is in a supine position. The MSP is centered on the midline of the table. The central, the central ray will be perpendicular to the midway between the sacred process and the iliac crest. So normally, the reference part will be here. Then the structure shown will be the collecting system of the kidney. For our third projection, the, it is the pentopin stain mini protocol. So the patient position is in a spine position. The MSP is center of the midline of the table. The central ray will be perpendicular to the iliac to the iliac crest. Then the structure shown will be the complete image of the kidney, the ureter, and also the urinary gland. For our fourth projection, with the twenty-minute protocol, we will position the patient in the fine position, slightly stated from left to right. So in here, we will take the patient from the right. So morning, Anita. So 
like we hold the patient. Then place a handbag below the patient's leg for comfortability. So now, the MSK will form 30 degrees angulation. The central ray again is perpendicular to the iliac crest. Then the structure shown will be the different perspective of the kidney, also the frequent superposition of the ureter and the spine. We will use the post-void examination. The post-void examination is being used to make sure that there is no retention of the other media in the PUD. So, the patient position is in a prone position. The MSC is center at the midline of the table. The central ring will be perpendicular to the iliac crest. Then the structure shown is the urinary cancer. For the last projection, retrograde urography. The position of the patient is in lithotomy position. The part position is that thighs are abducted and the knees are flexed at 45 degrees. The central ray is perpendicular to the iliac crest and the structure shown is none.